Let's notice some details. First thing to notice is a new camera mechanic, designed to give the player a most amazing overview of his upcoming adventures, in sense of motion tracking and providing the best possible angle for comfortable gameplay. Among creating water ripples, you'll find that various objects cast water splashes any time they interact with water, and Gorf isn't an exception. At the beginning, you see the slicer doing what is natural, slicing through everything in its path, causing a layer of water to splash above the water surface as it gradually disappears. Here's the cutter in its natural habitat, cutting a vertical plane with a huge amount of force, causing the water particles to split in hydrogen and oxygen, Little known fact. and to eventually flee in frenzy from the laws of physics. And here we have our spiked roller, not much to say except to notice that water drips down its spikes as it rolls, rolls, rolls your boat gently down the stream, pretty much something you would see anywhere if you ever go around swimming through the death traps in your own time. You might have also noticed that Gorf grew an extra horn all on his own since the last development diary. To tell you the truth, I was actually quite surprised to find him like that today when I woke up to prepare this video for you. We figured to leave the game as it was in our last development diary, since it was great, and great is ok, but amazing would be great. So here it is, do you agree with me or are you wrong? That's it for this development diary. I know you enjoyed it, so click the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Google+. Don't forget to say hi to Shime. Sup? Thank you for watching, my name is Ivan Mandic, peace out.